Hello everyone, this is Elias5891. We're back with some more Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. This time we're going to look over to the 3D Maze module, which this, this is going to be a little, uh, a little tricky trying to uh, get across, but I will do my best. Please bear with me as uh, this, one, this one poses an interesting challenge. An interesting challenge indeed. Uh, let's look at our bomb. We'll get edge work, which we'll put on our notepad as always. Uh, we have... Let's get the serial number. O P O I S eight zero P zero I S eight. And the other relevant part is ports. Uh, lit Bob. Unlit. I N D. I think it was. Yes. And we got some batteries in the ports, but those don't play a part in this particular module. So here's our page for 3D Maze. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is use these calculations here. As the expert, the first thing we're going to do is use these calculations and figure out which row and column we're going to look at. For the row, we're going to start with the first numeric digit of the serial number. That's a zero. And we're going to add one for every lit unlit indicator with a letter in Maze Gamer. Does IND have a letter in MIT? Maze Gamer. Actually, no, it does not. So we're not going to change that row. So we're going to do row 0, which will make sense in a moment. Column. Start with the last numeric digit in the serial number. That's an 8. Add 1 for every lit in Help I'm Lost. We have bo lit Bob. Does Bob have share a letter with Help I'm Lost? Yes, it has the O. So since we have a lit indicator that matches a letter, we're going to add an extra 1. Makes it 9. And it says that it's greater than 7. Knock 8 off of it. So we're going to make it. We're going to knock 8 off of it, which makes it 1. So row 0, column 1, is where we're going to find our exit in comparison to. Now let's take a look at what these mazes could look like. Lots of things in there. And now let's take a good long look at what the diffuser sees, actually. Here's the module. Here's five copies of the module. You'll notice big long corridors. You don't see the exit or the entrance clearly. As the diffuser, you're going to, or the diffuser will find all three letters that are on the ground. You'll see like this one has a C, this one has an H. You're going to find the three unique letters. Uh, those letters will not be in EWS. The cardinal directions will also be written. You're looking for the other three letters. So let's actually navigate around and find one of those. We found a C, an H, a C, an H, and a B. A B, a C, an H. A B, a C, an H. That tells the expert which maze to look at. So if we glance back at the other mazes, I said B, C, H. So that's this maze right here. So now what do we do once we've found the maze? Well, we're going to take this particular maze, BCH, and we're going to navigate our way through it. And this is going to be a little tricky to demonstrate, uh, but I will do my best. Please forgive me if this is not uh, quite as uh, nice as some of the two hurdles before. So here's the maze BCH that we just looked at. First off, let's go ahead and mark, and I'm going to mark it in big purple, that row and number that we pulled earlier. We pulled row 0 and number 1. Not cooperating with me, are you? There we go. That's where we're starting. Hmm. Right, that's where our direction we're going to be looking from. Now, let's actually find where we are in this maze. It helps to get kind of a longer line that you can walk down that has multiple letters. So this last one we found actually is good. B blank blank C blank blank 
H. And that's what the diffuser would tell the expert. I'm in a maze, B, C, H. Here's a line in it. B, blank, blank, C, blank, blank, H. Says to the expert, it's your job to figure out where is B, blank, blank, C, blank, blank, H. And it's this line right here on column 7. And they stopped here at the H. Now, you've got to get them two places as the expert. You've got to get them to any of the stars, and then the exit, which we'll find after we get to a star. So we want to get them to the star. I think the one here at row 3, column 4 is the closest. So let's have them take this path, and we're just going to navigate them. So we know they're looking at the wall. They're into that line. So they're going to turn left, forward, left, forward, right. And notice, I've got a cardinal, a direction here on the ground, but that's not a star on my map. So I'm going to ignore it. Uh, so we did left, forward, left, forward. Right, forward, forward, bravo. Left, forward, cardinal. And that cardinal direction is east. So what that means is from that starting point we found at 0, 1, we're going to travel all the way east until we hit a wall. That wall is a fake wall, and that's our exit. That's where we need to get to. So how do we get to that wall from where we're at now? Let's switch to blue. Uh, we know we're here looking this way, so I'm going to suggest we go... like this. So from where we're at, we're going to turn left, forward, 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 left, forward, forward, hotel, left, forward, forward, to the wall, right, forward, hotel, right, forward, into the wall. Module complete. It's weird. It's a little tricky. It's hard to do without being able to interactively practice. I am going to do one more and then I will strongly suggest that uh, if you have the opportunity, you do one uh, with yourself as well. Because ha both the diffuser and the expert have a tricky part in this module. So, let's wipe this. Uh, there's my serial number. JA5UT6. Uh, I have an unlit IND. I have no other ports. So let's get the row and column first. Uh, row is first digit. Five. Plus one for every unlit indicator that has a letter in Maze Gamer. Uh, Maze Gamer does not share any letters with unlit, unlit INDs, so we're going to stay at five. <coughs> uh, column, we're going to start with six. Uh, and there's no lit indicators at all, so nothing to add to that. So we're doing row five, column six. Let's find. Let's do this maze here under the clock. So as the diffuser, I'm going to navigate this sucker until I find all three letters and a line. D delta, B bravo, A alpha. So I have A B D. I'm also going to try to find a lengthy-ish line that has multiple letters in it. Found one. Alright, so, as the diffuser, I'm going to let my expert know. I'm in maze A, B, D. So, maze A, B, D. Let me get that ready one second. It's a little hard to do this ahead of time because uh, I don't know which mazes I'm going to get. A, B, D, and let's color it the same way, purple's my starting point, uh, row 5, column 6, so row 5, column 6, that's, here's my starting point to find my exit, <coughs> now let's find myself, uh, here's the line I have, A blank blank, B blank blank. I'm looking for A space space, B space space. Uh, that would be up here. That's kind of the line I found. 
So right now my person is standing right here, facing that wall. So I want to find a asterisk for them to hit, a cardinal. Uh, and the maze, you see how it has gaps in the top and bottom. It actually does loop around, so my easiest path would be just to go and then loop down here to the bottom. So from where he's at, I'm going to tell him to turn around, forward, right, forward, cardinal. And the direction we find is west. So we're going to take that coordinate we found earlier, we're going to move west, that's the wall we want to hit. And we can hit it from either side, we don't have to hit it from the same side as this little drawing. <coughs> so to get there from where we're at, and you're going to want to do this relatively quickly, so you might not always pick the most optimal path. Uh, this is going to be a long one actually. Best I can see that I'm going to do is head back down into the wall. And I'm hitting it from the other side, but that's fine. So I navigate him like that. I tell him, let's get a closer look in on this. Turn around, forward, forward, right, forward, 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 left, forward, forward, left, forward, 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 right, forward, forward, alpha. And I do sometimes call out the letters to make sure everybody's on the same page. Left, wall, into it. Module done. Uh, this is a tricky one. This is a good one to practice on your own. Uh, if you are not subscribed to Porku's training mission, that is a perfect opportunity to get a bunch of these, practice running around the walls, finding your letters. Oh wow, that was I lucked into that one pretty strongly. Run around, find letters, uh, get used to finding coordinates. Um, if you have any suggestions on this one, uh, I came up with the best I could, but I know that there are other tricks that people use, other suggestions. So feel free, as always, leave comment, question, concern, suggestion down below. Uh, and as I'm intentionally showing here, be careful because any wall that you hit causes a strike unless it's the exit. So uh, when you're navigating, don't rush because if you rush too far, you might get a strike, might blow yourself up. Alright, so, as always, leave stuff in below if you want to. Um, other than that, this has been Elias. Thank you for watching, and remember, uh, have fun, and 